welcome back to the channel mining engineering i am sudhirata today's video is about opencast mine drilling pattern opencast mine drilling pattern here we will discuss the drilling pattern in opencast surface bench blasting what is an opencast mine opencast mining operation is done under the open sky this is the look of a surface mine here in the open cast mining the working is going on under the open sky whereas in the underground coal mine the working is going on below the ground open cast or open pit or surface mine benches this is the side view of the rock mass or the earth surface layer and how the benches are formed in the open cast mining let's visualize it this is the bench number 1 and this is the crest of the bench this is the top of the bench and below the bench number 1 the bench number 2 is formed like this this is the bench number 2 and further we go deeper by creating next bench like this so this is the bench number 1 bench number 2 and this is the bench number 3 this is the front view and this is the side view of one of the bench and we will discuss how the blasting is done in these mining benches and how the drill holes bore holes or the blast holes are drilled in those benches so what is drill pattern an arrangement of bore holes laid out in a blast area expressed in terms of burden and spacing measured in feet or meter so in the surface mining bench while doing blasting the bore holes are drilled and the arrangement of bore holes is called the drilling pattern so this is a drill hole this is another drill hole is drilled and this is the first row and this is the second row and we can see that these bore holes are drilled at a certain spacing and at a certain burden so we can say they are at a certain distance from one another so their arrangement in the mine bench is called the drilling pattern so this is the burden this is the spacing and burden is the distance from the preface to the bore hole and the spacing is the distance between each bore hole this is from the top view this is the first row of the bore holes and this is the second row so what are the drilling patterns are available for blasting in surface mine benches so we can say there are four types by combining this normal and staggered and the square and rectangular those are normal square pattern staggered square pattern normal rectangular pattern and the staggered rectangular pattern first one is the normal square pattern it's basically called square pattern the normal term is normally not used it's called the square pattern square means the burden and spacing each equal we'll see that uh, arrangement if staggered term is not written it is normally considered as the normal pattern normal means the second row of the bore holes or the blast holes are drilled exactly behind the first row 
So this is our free face, our bench, and this is the first row, this is the burden, and this is spacing. And this is our second row. So now in the normal pattern, the second row of the bore holes are drilled exactly behind the first row. This is the first row and the bore hole, the second row of the bore holes are exactly behind the first row. So this is called the normal arrangement. And why it is called the square pattern? Because this is the spacing and this is the burden. Both are equal. They are forming like a square. So here the burden is equal to the spacing. That's why it's called the square pattern. And why it is normal? Because the second row of the bore hole is exactly behind the first row. So it's called the square pattern. Here burden is equal to the spacing. The next one is the staggered square pattern. It is called staggered square pattern. Here it is also a square pattern, that's why the bottom is equal to the spacing. If the staggered term is written, then it's not the normal pattern. So, what is the arrangement in the staggered pattern? The second row bore holes are drilled behind the first row, but in between the gap of two bore holes of the first row. So, this is the free face of our bench, and this is our first row. And this is the second row and here the second row is behind the first row. However, the second row bore holes are behind are in between the in between the two bore holes of the first row. So the second row here each of the second bore hole is exactly behind the first row. However, they are in between the Two bore holes of the first row. That's why this pattern is called the staggered pattern. Here also the burden is equal to the spacing. That's why it's called staggered square pattern. Now the next one is the normal rectangular pattern. It's called the rectangular pattern. Why it is rectangular? Because here the bottom is less than the spacing. If staggered term is not written, it is normally considered as the normal pattern. In the normal pattern, the second row of the bore holes are exactly behind the first row. This is the first row, and this is our second row. The second row bore holes are exactly behind the first row bore holes. And here we can say the spacing is greater than the burden. The bottom is less and the spacing is more. That's why this arrangement is look like a little bit rectangular. In the previous case, the bottom is equal to the spacing and the look was square. But here, the look is like rectangle. That's why it's called rectangular pattern. And it is rectangular normal because the borehole of the second row is exactly behind the first row row. The bottom is less than the spacing. Now the staggered rectangular pattern, it is called staggered rectangular pattern. Why it is rectangular? Because the bottom is less than the spacing. If the staggered term is written, then it is not the normal pattern. Stagger the second row of the boreholes are drilled behind the first row but in between the gap of two boreholes of the first row. So. The second row boreholes are present behind the first row. However, the boreholes are in between the two boreholes of the first row. And why it is rectangular? Because here also the burden, this burden is less than the spacing. Next is the blast pattern. The blast pattern is how we are connecting the boreholes by applying delay sequence. It's called the blast pattern. We'll discuss that thing in the next video. Thank you.